Well, Mike, on the outside of the heat locker room here, Bama DeBio has not come back out, although Assistant General Manager Adam Simon did walk in here and then walked out very quickly saying there is no update. Now, during the Celtics series, Bam did hurt the shoulder and arm, and it's his shoulder that we saw them working on before he went back into the locker room. I have to say that before game six, Bam told me he's feeling completely better, and he certainly looked like it in game six of that Celtics series. He also told me, though, that he didn't take any painkillers throughout that stretch because he's scared of needles. If this is more severe this time, we'll have to see if that holds. Mike? All right, Rachel. So, uh, Bio is out right now. Dragic is out right now. Jimmy Butler hurt himself earlier, but he's been back playing, although he's on the bench. It has been a disaster. Game one for the Miami Heat. Well, one thing I can say as a former player and a former coach, I'm sure you can agree, Coach, this is a, a seven-game series. This is one game. You cannot overreact whether you play great or whether you play awful. And about Merrick Spolstra, if we're going to lose, let's lose 40. But, I mean, let it be. Pat Riley had the Memorial Day Massacre, and he's always had their attention, Eric Spolstra has, but there's a humbling to getting blown out, especially as quickly as it happened. Kendrick Gunn knocks that one down. That was the Memorial Day Massacre. That was the Lakers got crushed in game one by 34 points, 184, 114, but they wound up winning the series. It was in the 85 finals. You know what I remember about Coach Riley talking about that is after that blowout, you know, they're having the film session the next day, and he said, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was in the front row of the film session and he was there early and he was ready to take his medicine from Coach Riley. And before the game two, he brought his dad on the bus and asked permission to ride with his dad to the game. Wow. None kicks it out. Andre Iguodala, three-pointer, knocks that one down. Frank Overfall's a timeout. Well, a 32-point lead. 